hi everyone welcome to my channel today i'm doing some bleaching of a shirt a dye bleach and i'm doing an acid rain effect and for this you're going to need some gloves so thick bleach i've got mine from tesco but i'm sure everywhere does a, a standard thick bleach and a spray bottle this is recycled from a surface cleaner bottle now you'll need two thirds bleach one third water and then you'll also need a paintbrush and a bowl. This is the shirt I'm bleach dyeing today. I've put a bin liner on a hanger and then I've put the shirt over the top. I've also ironed the shirt and I'm literally just in my shower uh, as I don't want to get bleach around the house anywhere. I just felt this is probably the best place to do it and I can rinse everything after. First part of this, I'm just gonna put some bleach neat into a bowl and then use the using the paintbrush just gently dab that in there and then we're going to brush this onto the lapel area or onto the shoulder area and then I do that on both sides. And then I'm going to, with my spray bottle, just spray coming down from there. down the arms okay so I'm gonna let that do its thing and then I'll come back in probably like 15 minutes and so show you how it's doing I'm also going to do the same to the back I've I've just turned the shirt around and I'm going to do the same to the back. So I'm just brushing these shoulder areas first. I might, as the shirt's got a pattern on the back and then a, I might just do that hole to that strip there. Go. Now I'm going to get my spray bottle and just do the same again, just sort of spray down the shirt in lines. And then some down the arms as well. Some down that arm. And then again, I'm gonna leave that to develop. I might spray that collar a little bit, just get a bit on the collar. That's it. And then I'm just gonna leave that to develop and I'll come back in 15 minutes and show you how it's looking. On this design, I'm angling the spray downwards to mimic sort of rain falling down, being heavier at the top section and then coming down lighter. I'm just doing a second layer. I've left it for like 10 minutes. And now I'm just pasting on another layer of bleach because it's, it's, I suppose, the type of cotton and it's really, really orange, which I'm fine with down there. But on the top, I want to make it look a lot, lot paler, like it's been um, exposed to a lot more acid as I'm trying to make like an acid rainy type look so that's how it's looking so far and I've obviously just done a second layer on the lapel areas and along the the back section so I just leave that again for another probably 15 minutes 
Okay, it's been 15 minutes. It's still a little bit wet. I'm just going to show you up close. You can see how it's looking. You can still see some of it's a bit wet. And up on this side here. It's got a really nice variation of colour to it. And you can just sort of see how that looks. Okay, so I'm actually going to leave this even longer now because I want it to dry fully, the bleach areas. The shirt's been drying for around 45 minutes now. It's spread out loads, so I'm just about to take it down and put it in the wash. It's out the dryer and giving it an iron. The top's come out like really well. I'm really pleased with that. It's got some good details on the side here, if I can get that focused. There you go. And on the other side, looks really good coming down to the bottom. I'll turn it around for you. And again, really good detail. You can see the shoulders have come out paler, which is nice. It's obviously darker underneath there. So if you fold the collar up, um, there we go. Good details as well around the pocket and everything because um, you've got the different color stitching because it was a dark shirt to start with. There we go. If you've liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more DIY. Oh, I just love making these. You never quite know how they're going to come out, but really, really pleased with this one. So I hope you'll all have a go at making some, especially if it's an old shirt or, you know, you can even find old shirts at charity shops and just have some fun. I just love this. Thanks for watching. Bye.